why experiencer is sometimes called as dynamic presence yes dynamic presence is a very good word to describe what is going on if you remove all these supporting words like i am this and there are objects there there is world there is body there is mind if you remove all these descriptions and try to focus on the essence you will see that there is a presence right now right here there is a presence and it is not static remove the world remove the body remove the mind but still there is a change there is changing content in this presence this is what i call experiencing by the way those who like to use the word consciousness sometimes people use this word consciousness without knowing what it is experiencing comes very close to the word consciousness according to me because there is a ness n e w s so experiencing is not a verb it is a state just like consciousness usually people confuse consciousness with the waking state so there is a possibility of becoming unconscious if you use that word but there is no dual there is no opposite of experiencing there is no opposite of dynamic presence so you can easily see that it is a non dual state even if the experience changes into nothing that is still dynamic presence so this thing cannot be known beyond this whatever i described just now even this much description will be too much go to your inner presence your heart and you will see that there is simply presence now the lab- labeling of the experiences the, and the experiencer and the world body mind and then the division into the million forms that comes later and then you will see that the mind is now entangled in this illusion and the presence is forgotten only the illusion takes up the whole attention this is the condition of an ignorant person so it is also called delusion or you can say an awakened sleeping state and the dynamic presence when you are appreciating it when you are drinking the juice of it will be called sahat samadhi or the natural equanimity so that is the whole experience it is not unknown it is right now right here if you like to see it if you like to taste it it cannot be called an experience because experience is ha- happening inside it all the experiences are happening inside the state the state dynamic presence is only a background which is the simplest possible state of the existence existence is only this much existence is just simply dynamic presence then the labeling starts you know there is vibration and there is change and there is uh, these memories and layers and then you have descended into ignorance actually so coming back to our original state which is very simple simplest possible sahat samadhi then everything happens in this dynamic background of presence so i i have used this word presence many times in the blog because i was coming from a tradition where this word was used instead of experiencing or samadhi or whatever so it is a very pure word it's not polluted so much by meanings so the block starts with this word presence there is presence if you say a little bit more about this presence it gets polluted it's very pure simply putting dynamic in front of it makes it a little bit more complex than it is so number 2 why existence is experiencing itself doesn't it know itself already the existence has no need to experience itself it is the experience itself the experience itself is the existence and so the experience is the experiencer is also the existence there are no two so the relation why means there should be a reason isn't it you are asking for a reason what is the reason what is the need there to do this so simply see that there nobody is doing anything it is simply being and see that uh, there is no necessity or need also and see that there is no process also between the experience and the experiencer they are one so the question is assuming that existence is some kind of entity and it needs a reason then it does something to experience or there is a need to know what it is so all these assumptions are because you don't know the oneness you don't know that everything is already one 
it is like asking uh, why is the clay experiencing the pot in the case of clay pot why is clay experiencing the pot no it is not experiencing the pot it is being the pot the clay pot is the experience and the essence at the same time the non essential and the essential they, they are at, they are present at the same time the changing aspect and the unchanging aspect they are one so there is no question there that you know why it is doing why the clay is experiencing the pot no there is no why they are not separate is clay doing something to be the pot and then it gets something gets the experience of the pot by doing something no does the clay need to know that it is pot no it is simply there so why existence doing that and why it does not know itself all come out of this assumption that you know it needs to know something or it needs to do something or there can be reason for something no you see knowing knowledge all illusions reasons causes effects all illusions the truth is simply being be that which you are you are the existence imposing the qualities of a person or a human or any other object on the existence is ignorance removing the qualities is knowledge when you have removed everything that you have already imposed on it you have polluted the existence with all these words of and reasons and assumptions when you have removed everything that you have imposed on yourself yourself means the existence you are the existence then you will no come to know what you are the one without qualities the emptiness is you the emptiness is the existence now in the emptiness there are no questions in the emptiness there is no reason and there in there is no need there is no knowledge and there is no ignorance it is simply being a present a presence that is full of possibilities in finite possibilities that is what i am so knowledge is simply removal of these things remove everything that you have slapped on it unknowingly number 3 experience is non procedural and a, a causal is this applicable to all experiences then does it mean that normal interrelations in our daily life like you study more you will get good marks are untrue yes the word experience includes everything actually everything that is changing everything that is manifested is experience so what causes the experience nothing actually because if there is a cause of it that will be another experience you will need to establish that look this is the cause and that it will be, it will be experienced and then what is the cause of that experience then so it is meaningless to say that the experience has a cause that which is manifested that which is being seen has a cause meaningless everyday events have cause like your daily life total falsehood and there are false causes of false events like getting good marks and studying and all it is a dream the dream has causes built in into it but the whole is a causal the existence is experience also the manifested part is also the existence and it is simply there imposing a cause on this will be ignorance removing the causes and meanings and purposes from the existence is knowledge remove purify simplify give up this your uh, tendency to understand existence as an object by putting qualities on it by putting actions in it by assuming causes for it you have made the existence into another object which is in your dream so in this way it will never be known it will never be understood and you will not become the existence you will remain a character that is worrying that is simply thinking about it that is what we call intellectual knowledge it is ignorance only keep thinking about it for whole of your life you need to be what you are and that being state is achieved by removing not by adding you have already added a lot into that which is true that which is ultimate you have already polluted it by adding too much so what do we do we remove everything so go to the chapter on existence basic analysis and advanced analysis and you will find that we have removed everything from that whenever i ask the when i ask a question out of the seven questions you will find that it comes out to be negative how do we remove everything by using 
our intelligence and direct experience. We check by looking and then we analyze by logic and we see that does not hold. The whys, the hows, the who and where, when, and these questions do not hold. It comes out to be nothing actually. So these questions they hold for your daily routines which are necessary for survival, they are useful for survival or which is your everyday illusion. These questions are designed to answer these things. Where is my food and uh, who, who made the, your house dirty? This, these things you see. Who is your mother? Who is your father? How to do a job? You see, these things in the dream have answers. But the truth has no answers. And there are no questions also. If you apply the questions that are asked for illusion to the truth, to the existence itself, you get negative answers. It is not like this. There is no cause. There is no reason. There is no purpose. There is no who. Nobody is there. It has no needs. It has no desires. You see, it is kind of purification and when the mind is entangled like this, we call it the pure mind. And only the pure mind gets the equanimity, gets the anand or the bliss state. So reduce. So everything in your daily life is already false. And assuming that the existence will be answered, you know, questions about existence will be answered in the manner in which questions of your daily life are answered is not a good assumption, you will always get negatives. Any positive knowledge that you get about yourself, that is the existence, Brahman will be untrue, will be false. It is guaranteed. Anything positive you say about the Brahman will be false. You cannot make anything simpler than the existence. It is already empty. As soon as you put something there, it is now false. And you cannot remove more from it it is already empty. So that's why we call it perfect. Perfection. I am perfect. Nothing can be added. Nothing can be removed from it. That is the definition of perfection. If you add something, yes, it has lost the truth. If you remove something, impossible. There is already nothing there. Where, will, where are you going to put that something? Is, is the whole. Addition is not possible. Removal is not possible. That is why I am whole and perfect. Complete. It is not possible to make it incomplete. It is not possible to make it partial. It will remain what it is, unchanging. In this way, even being emptiness, it is very solid, eternal. It is eternally so. So the perfection is never lost. And the illusion which you assume as truth will always remain imperfect. It will remain imperfect no matter what you do. <laughs> no matter what this illusory creature does to make it good. It will always slip like sand from your hands between your fingers. Try to grasp it, try to hold it, try to make it good, try to make it bad, whatever. It will always change into something else. So those who are trying to fix their lives, hopeless. And those who know that I am already perfect, whole and complete. The future is bright, isn't it? <laughs> you are going to spend the eternity in bliss. And those who are not able to overcome their pettiness of their everyday life, are bound to suffer. So that is why on the path of knowledge, the whole focus is given to the basic knowledge, the essential knowledge. That is the most important thing. Yes, sadly, many people do not even realize how important it is. But we don't worry because this illusion is meaningless anyway. It is even meaningless to realize who you are because it will be wiped out as soon as the creature dies unless there is enough impressions for it to continue and even if it if it continues even if the impressions continue for a million years it is still going to vanish so you need to simply leave the pursuit of knowledge and whatever you see equanimity and samadhi all these things are also useless this is the state of non-doing and this is the only state of existence is doing nothing actually. It is not even interested in knowing what it is and it's not interested in holding on to this knowledge also. It is happy being what it is in this present moment. Nothing more is needed. Oh no, no, why should I take the knowledge because it's going to vanish anyway. No problem. <laughs> even your ignorance will vanish. So you see here the effort has to be dropped. Here the intellect has to be dropped. Just be. Enjoy.